internet welcome back what is happening today we're back to doing some uh, coyote swap s197 things and i want to show you another solution we're offering to you guys to make this the mechanical side a little more easier for you um as far as getting a kit together so people are always asking me for a parts list and what i need and it gets a little old telling the same part numbers blah 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 more than happy to help but now i've, I've made it easier for you and myself so what we're talking about is the fuel system for these cars to make it running um, as a very efficient and affordable kit to make it into a return style system, even though it's still gonna be tuned as a return less system. And we talked about the differences between the two Coyote and the three valve return less systems. The Coyote uses a mechanical return list and the three valve uses a electronic return list system. So the Coyote has a built-in regulator in the fuel hat from the factory. The three valve hat does not. So what we do is what I'm going to show you in our kit so that um, you can just pop this in your car. You just have, you still have to drill yourself the, the top hat. We have good pictures for you to show that in our kit. So let me show you the kit and what it's all about. So what we got here is the Corvette fuel filter that has the regulator built in. Uh, the input is here and goes uh, hooks up directly to your input line from the fuel tank. Here's the output. As you know, the factory line is also a female, so we have this little Johnny here to adapt that to your quick disconnect line, that the factory one, or if you made an AN line from this point to your fuel filter or fuel rail, that's fine too. And then that's your return lines, the 5 16ths. And then this will, the 5 16ths line that is shown here will hook up to this and this is what you have to drill for your fuel hat if you may have seen in other videos and it's very streamlined simple one part and uh, nylock for safety and o-ringed nylon washer flattened for clearance so it's very very simple now you can order it this way this will be, be very simple and you can figure out whether you want to make your own a n line from here or make your own a n line or have us make you the hose that goes from underneath the master cylinder, which I'll show you, to the fuel rail. And so that, because the uh, factory forward part for the Coyote, which does bolt in, which you've seen in the weight swap video, um, is obsolete. So we just have to make a 3 8 line going from that little one. And you can either do that or make your own ant line from there. So that's uh, what I want to show you is like how the fitting looks like and how this will bolt right into your stock filter location and how that'll interface into the whether you have an AN line like I said or the factory line going to the master cylinder near the master cylinder. All right you can see using the photo template got the hole drilled I go to one above nine sixteenths and then kind of use the uh, the chamfers there before the step to divert real nice on the top side and then you want to make sure you're going to some nasty burrs on the bottom to uh, deburr those using a deburr tool, which I have here. If you could, or sandpaper will be something just to take you, uh, the the uh, chips and the sharp edges off so that you can install your bulkhead fitting so that the O-ring sit, will sit in that 45 real nice. And then your nylon washer and nut will have a good surface to seal against that now it's not really under pressure but uh, you still want it to seal well so you don't have fumes and especially fuel coming on top of there so we're going to install that fitting and uh, show you how that's all seven eighths and a three quarter three quarter will hold on to there and tighten enough so that the nylon at least gets the first couple of threads you'll feel it kind of bottom out cool thing about this fitting is that it'll still swivel when you have that thing as tight as can be so now we can just throw it back in and then I'll show you the underside, what we gotta do with the filter. All right, you can see our return line uh, fitting and hose are all in place on the hat. All right, so the fuel filter from the Corvette bolts right in, which is super convenient. We got the mail to mail adapter, factory line, installed our return line, that's going back up to the fuel hat, factory of feed line, going to the filter. Doesn't get much more OEM plus than that. So now I'll show you the top side going to the fuel rail and your options there. All right, now we're back topside and you can do the uh, fuel rail line one of two ways. Find a factory line, which I said is obsolete from the video. You can't get it new. It will bolt in. It uh, connects down there below the master cylinder. You can see this uh, 
90 degree, very difficult to get to, especially if you have an engine in the way. I installed it when the engine was out of here. Um, or you can pay a little extra and we'll have a line made for you in our kit. All right, cat in the hat, that was that. I uh, installed this in less than an hour and literally needed no extra hardware. Besides what you've shown here in our video, uh, a lot of factory hardware was reused, as you can see the fuel filter. Um, always run it, make sure to check leaks before putting that seat back in and a little grommet. And uh, yeah, so if you're doing this swap, we just made it a little more easier for you to uh, complete it on the uh, more of the mechanical side. If you don't have a crazy uh, boosted setup, this will be great to get you going. NA for now, super economical and, uh, and simple. So I needed like three different tools, 10 millimeter, uh, upholstery removal tool, screwdriver and a hammer. Get the fuel oil, uh, hat and ring off, but so easy. I'm sure you guys can handle it. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. Give that thumbs up.